Hi, this is Jeff Fletcher. Welcome to another League Rank recording from Silver League. This time I'll be playing in the ADC position. I'm playing Jinx, she's one of my favourite carries. Um, she hasn't got too many crazy skills, other than the ability to switch between a machine and a rocket, which gives her like really good damage output and variable range, like her strongest asset. She's a really powerful carry throughout the game. Her only downside is she tends to need to um, wind up her minigun to get the best damage output, so she does like to be protected and kind of ideally stay fairly rooted to, to one spot or close to in order to output damage maximally. Hold on. This makes her a little prone to getting dived sometimes, but our team does have some pretty reasonable ways of keeping the opponents off me. It's got Morgana, Warwick and Galio. And also Riven um, is able to stun opponents too, so hopefully when it comes to those later game team fights, um, my teammates will be able to keep guys from engaging me. Let's just behave. Said no <coughs> the opposing team looks like it's got a pretty strong area effect based comp, which is a little scary for the late game. They've got a Scion and the Mumu um, combined with a Katarina, so they can really jump on your whole team and output a lot of damage. Um, fortunately, we do have a bunch of stuns Jeez. and not, so hopefully that will keep people. Offers. I think Galio is going to prove reasonably good against Katamid as well. I really need a new gun, but don't tell my other guns. Minions have spawned. Here, I'm just going to be helping Warwick off to a good start by making sure he the gets the blue down here in the optimal time. I tend to like to do that, it can lose you a tiny bit of lane push and experience, but I think it's good to make sure your jungler is off to a good start, especially because I jungle myself and I know how much of a difference it makes just being able to get that bit of extra farm before your first port. It can really speed up your buys, and that can leash the first jungle item. A good point to note is it's actually important to leave as soon as your jungler is capable of smiting their jungle monster they're fighting now. That lets them use the smite and not lose damage by actually tanking it. Sometimes, if you stay and keep fighting, it actually is at the detriment of your own jungler when you do that, so that's a good one to watch out for. <coughs> Especially now, like most clear patterns don't really require that you save smite till later, so smite the strength link is my key. Um, it used to be a bit more of a thing than it is now. Oh, I got that first blood there. Giving a bit of hassle there. That vein got really greedy. She's definitely giving me a hard time playing that aggressive and maybe could have killed me. This might get more gone or something. I was telling to PB, that was a little greedy staying in. But it's a lot better that the kill goes to her than to Vane. I think this early in the game I'm just gonna get an extra door end. I don't always like that, but with a chance to buy this early it should help me. Um, I really don't want Morgana trying for this. I'm going to apologise. I shouldn't have got my kills so I've killed really. A mistake. So I have 9 farm, Vayne has 8. So farm wise it's going to be pretty even. Got a little bit more money. Um, so Vayne got a long sword there and I got a door round so that should give me a bit of short term advantage. With a bit more sustain than she has. Wave really pushed out in her absence, which is a shame. I don't really want her taking. Whatever. 
level 3 a lot sooner than I was. Like with Jinx, you do just always scale up Q. Just take that large one there. Um, it's by far your most important skill because it scales your basic attacks, and being an ADC, you are primarily a basic attack based champion. Well, these guys are like, all about like, the extreme. Wow, Morgana. That's going a bit crazy, that's woman. Oh my god, I can't help her. Ask me if I'm listening. I'm not. I hope she's got out there. Maybe uh, Warwick can come and do some damage here. Get out. Wow. I'm not sure what that was all about. I really don't think in any way it served me well staying for a piece of that action. I'll get the mine to help me keep me going around in my face. Aggressive, uh, my allies are choosing to be here. I don't think they're really helping anyone. Um, this Volcana has got herself killed twice just to board. I don't think the enemy's playing particularly well, but with the way that I never have a support at the moment, it's, um, it's definitely impacting. I pretty much got to sit at tower and let them farm while this is happening because I could be engaged more or less at any moment from this very irritating Yona. Well, it was a bit intense, so apologies for commentary stopping. I was just trying to focus on uh, getting all those kills as they ran through. But that has worked out in our favour, and it kind of illustrates why strategies that sound like a bad idea are probably a bad idea. Um, okay. Right, there was a bit of lag there. Yeah, I might be having an issue here. Has been slain. Oh, part of the oh yeah, yeah, I definitely am. Okay, I guess I just got a lot of money, so I will rock a port back and see if I overcome my lags in the meantime. It is looking a bit up on the frame rate front. It's like I can buy okay. It's really frustrating when that kind of thing cuts into your playing experience. Really okay, so guard. we've bought some pretty sweet gear now. Hopefully, um, Animal Con is just going to relax a little because 
I would prefer to play a steady farm based game than to go with a different plan. <laughs> and the enemies seem to have all sorts of ideas about that. Line. Nice galley, that's beautiful. Okay, right. Yeah, I seem to be over that lag spike now, which is pretty pretty difficult to play during. No matter the other effects. Nice. Okay, and I'll try and push this tower down. I think really, um, you always want to push fairly hard when you have that opportunity. Probably just leave it behind uh, set me over the high level. Oh, she's, yeah, she's got way too bold. The good thing is she started bold and it wasn't such a bad idea, but now she's not adapting to the fact that she has given me quite a bit of money. So things aren't the same as they started out. I'm still a little bit scared about her jumping and then um, Vayne immediately attacking me, so I have to respect that that can happen. We may get an Amumu gank as well, although we have a warden, so gonna let us back off a bit while taking the bomb. There's that Amumu. Send the rocket in there, maybe that can get her out of our face. So we are still pretty ahead of the team though. I made a pay for that for sure. And some good old Boran's auto attacks pulling my life gauge again pretty fast. Nice, Spain. You weren't expecting that, were you? Oh, oh, oh no, I wasn't expecting that. Touche. I think you can get me. Damn. Right, that was a pretty good roll, and I had not expected her to go aggressive there, so... My bad. My mistake. I got a choice about buying here. I can keep on grabbing the Bloodthirster, but I already have a bit of lifesteal, so I think... I'm just gonna go ahead and grab part of the static ship here, which I really like on Jinx. Because it increases your burst, and it's always good to, um... Act a bit more like you have abilities in the way that you can play. Uh, tower here is pretty low. I'm just gonna signal to Morgana that I'd much rather have her actually supporting me for the first real time this game um, than doing what else she's planning on doing. She seems determined to just not actually play in a lane with me, which is a bit, it's a bit frustrating, really. I guess I'm gonna cut up this way. And Maybe I can get something with a rocket here, just so they don't go coming through. Oh, that's a shame that they kind of kind of got in on that action there, a bit more than one or two. I might be able to come and uh, cause some stress there. Oh, part of the plan. Well, there's a sign, that's a big time to get out there. Wow, how is that movement not dead? That's pretty frustrating. Yeah, I actually thought that final rocket was going to finish him off. Your turret has been destroyed. Yeah, it would be really nice if Morgana just let me stay in lane there. Seriously, screaming help? No. An enemy has been slain. Hold on. An ally has been slain. 
I was already oh, okay. He was attacking his tower. I couldn't really figure out why that happened for a second, and then suddenly became clear. Yeah, if they just played with a little bit of sense, um, it would have been a perfectly good tower takedown without the feet there. Just super frustrating, totally senseless. Yeah, I'm gonna sell the first one of these Torrance Blades. It was like a temporary measure and Completing my static ship is going to give me a lot more pass bike. I'm going to try and draw them in so that we might think about a dragon here. We are still reasonably ahead, but we've got to be careful of that vein late. I think one good thing about our team is we do have a number of the elements that might enable us to defeat a vein later on. So, we need to get our team into position. So that works out really bad for our opponents. Like both our teams seem to have the same problem actually in this match, is that they just really do not understand playing safely. Well then a flash there, oh we've got some kind of PB in behind us, so we probably should go check that out. Yeah that's the boo boo. Oh hand it off, that's gonna hurt me. Yeah, okay. Oh, Galio's got more on there, that's nice. Oh, and it's all to go go. Go Galio, come on, take that cut it down. I don't think can. I think it was right for us to go and focus, but yeah, I didn't know if we would have had that all Nice save from Riven. But I'm just going to give them a little danger ping because I think we're going to chase too long. Trying to warn them of the danger. Okay. It possibly would have been better for me to hold on to that ultimate until later in the uh, in the battle earlier, but it did immediately get a flash from Katarina. Yeah, like, Riven, you've got the idea. Why did we chase? Um, I guess we'll never know why we want to chase so hard. I wonder if that guy's actually French or just rocking a bit of the old uh, comedy French there. Yep. Seriously. I think it's also problematic. Our opponent team are quite terrifying if you beat them. So that Katarina's not yet there, but the vein certainly is. Um, could have done with her getting a lot less free farm off of Animal Garner, giving her that many, and getting her ready to enter Beast Mode. For later in the game. We did get a big money jump with that dragon though, and I'm gonna try and pop in a bit of damage. I think Team Global is quite terrifying here, but the Galio one is really good if it's saved. Seem to be 
putting down some pretty reasonable harassment. That power is very close to the so... Well, nice burst off the static ship. I'm just going to come in and take this down. I'm actually still quite afraid that the opponent here could get a pretty sweet re-engage at some point. With a with a little too, I think that actually is very realistic. Yeah, that's 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 our way of countering that prospect. Certainly stick it to add on with this. Oh, we probably should leave. Otherwise, I'm doing kind of what I said you shouldn't do. So, um, yeah, let's just get out of here. Might take a quick jungle monster or two on the way. Right. Yeah, I mean, my life steal's already playing pretty nicely in the trend line. I think against this team, I do value the shield just so I don't die off Kata quite so quickly when I've got the first there. It's a little bit of help, like, it's not a lot, but it's something. Back. I will warn my fellow teammates that they don't have their damage this year. So that won't hurt to stop, but I'm thinking. So, okay. Maybe I can get a quick rocket just down the general direction. And then I'm gonna start building Infinity Edge. It's one of the absolute key damage sources. So if that rocket impacts at all, but it does look like we've got a fair bit of damage in the fight. Okay, greedy. Oh, so greedy, but wow, wow. Okay. <laughs> that could have gone so differently, but uh, yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that. Yeah, we're just going to take maybe a tower, maybe two towers here. Um, yeah, they're going to be up soon, they'll probably stop the enemy tower. This one is definitely... Let's leave that lane more. I'm gonna get chased pretty soon, just have a little spot to so take this on the way out. And then come down for a bit of, uh, bit of farm over here, because I'm definitely gonna be the first one to it. Man, it's running away from me pretty quickly. I suppose I should've got those stage 2 boots. I just feel like when you have chance to buy BF swords, you pretty much can't not until you have the correct number of them. <clears throat> I don't really want to be down here, but I did want to get that farm and just stop the minion wave pushing up. Yeah, we do need to regroup. I'm quite mindful that my crazy diving team are not with me. They actually did better than I thought they would last time, but it was, it was actually pretty touch and go. They could have easily lost a big fight there. Let's get me out of here. Okay, maybe I can't get out here fast. Yeah, we really need some boards to go in at the moment as well. That's definitely hurting us. Huge amount. Well, that's a good all though. What a tower punishment. Oh wow. That tower was like our best player, I think, right there. Um, some great play by the tower, can't fault it. Right, I'll get those stage two boots. Whatever, 
Yeah, there's the danger of being jinxed that um, once the opposing team works out that you're the danger and it's not that hard to work out, then you can just get dived and explode into pieces where you're still trying to rev up the minigun. So they can kind of neutralize you, especially if your team are ready to help you out. Not a terrible result though. Ready to, to back up these guys with the, uh, the wave clip. Let's go get Dragon. I think that's going to be a safer prospect. I'll put a ward in there. And to be honest, I can have this down on my own. Hopefully, Galio doesn't keep attacking. It's gone. Okay. Looks like we got Ribbon kind of pseudo back to the Yeah, um, I guess that's another way of saying it. It's really not benefited us at all. Your turret has been destroyed. Ribbon, just leave this. We don't need you dead as well as that tower. It's already gone, baby. Oh, oh this is well, okay. So, you're more powerful than this level still. I'll send this out just to help out in case. Okay. Well, I got something done. No complaints. Does he have a guardian angel? He does already, wow. Well, okay. That's unexpected. Yeah, I saw um, Scion go down there and thought I may already have killed him, but. Yeah, we really want to wrap this game up ASAP. everything I suppose. Your oh, quite a lot of damage there. And that's completed Infinity Edge, so... Just having a rerun what opponents are doing about right now. So we've got Katarina who is building the obvious ability pack. Hasn't really got any armor. Scion, very well armored and health. Okay. Uh, Mumu, yeah, obviously tank. So a Blade of the Ruin King seems to naturally make sense to me here, and Leona going tank as well. Um, so probably my next few items will be Blade of the Ruin King, and then I will grab hold of a bit of armor I'm penetration. To care. I just can't. Probably in the form of Last Whisper. Well, we may not have played smart so far. In fact, I think you pretty much definitely say that's not happening. But it's been a pretty intense experience, the match. It's um, certainly been exciting. She 
got it. Probably would have been better if I had that, but to be fair, Riven has actually been outputting damage pretty nicely. Wow, 20 kills. That's pretty insane. They've got a very good team fight in common, but actually, to be honest, Aston's are even the worst of them from weighing in. I just wish the team would help me not die a little bit more, so I really could output the damage. take place at an absolutely insane pace. It's quite enjoyable, but it just looks crazy. I think we managed to win it though. Um, they've got Pepperina up, but I think they're going to struggle with the rate I can take them down. Yeah, that is, that is a bomb because you barely got time to blink and that was done. Oh, an interesting and exciting, if not particularly smart game. Next team. 